having a great day. I just want to give a big shout out to everyone working hard at home and doing your best, practicing your reading, practicing math. I am so proud of all the hard work that you've been putting in at home and I cannot wait to see you guys again whenever we go back to school. So if you've been doing your work and following along with the lessons that Miss Writing and I have made, you will see that we have been working on animals for science. That's right. You guys have been working hard thinking about what animals need to survive, the different kinds of animals, and what they look like. So today I would like to read you guys a book. This book is called Are You My Mother? Hmm. Looks like this little bird is asking the dog, are you my mother? Could this dog be the bird's mom? I don't think so. They're two completely different animals. Let's read this book and figure out what happens. Are You My Mother? Written and illustrated by P.D. Eastman. A mother bird sat on her egg. The egg jumped. Uh-oh, said the mother bird. My baby will be here. He will want to eat. Do babies need food? Do baby animals need food? That's right, we all do. I must get something for my baby bird to eat, she said. I will be back. So away she went. The egg jumped. It jumped and jumped and jumped. Out came the baby bird. Aw, baby bird. Where is my mother? He said. Uh-oh, how do you think he feels? He looked for her. He looked up. He did not see her. He looked down. He did not see her. I will go and look for her, he said. So away he went. Do you think that baby bird could live without its mom? I don't think so. I think that baby bird needs its mom. Down out of the tree he went. Down, down, down. It was a long way down. The baby bird could not fly. He could not fly, but he could walk. Now I will go and find my mother, he said. He did not know what his mother looked like. He went right by her. He did not see her. Uh-oh, look at that. He came to a kitten. Are you my mother? He said to the kitten. The kitten just looked and looked. It did not say a thing. Could a kitten be a bird's mom? Oh, look, they look completely different. They're completely different animals. The kitten was not his mother, so he went on. Then he came to a hen. Are you my mother, he said. No, said the hen. The kitten was not his mother. The hen was not his mother. So the baby bird went on. The hen, could that be the bird's mom? I definitely think it could be closer because he's a kind of bird, but not the same bird. I have to find my mother, he said. But where? Where is she? Where could she be? Then he came to the dog. Are you my mother? He said to the dog. I am not your mother. I am a dog said the dog. The kitten was not his mother. The hen was not his mother. The dog was not his mother. So the baby bird went on. Now he came to the cow. 
What do you guys think is going to happen? Are you my mother? He said to the cow. How could I be your mother? Said the cow. I am a cow. The kitten and the hen were not his mother. The dog and the cow were not his mother. Did he have a mother? He started to think. I did have a mother, said the baby bird. I know I did. I have to find her. I will. I will. Now the baby bird did not walk, but he ran. Then he saw a car. Could that thing be his mother? No, it could not. The baby bird did not stop. He ran on and on. What do you guys think about that? Could a car have a baby? No, a car is not alive. A car is an object. It can have a baby. Now he looked way, way down. He saw a boat. There she is, said the baby bird. He called to the boat, but the boat did not stop. The boat went on. He looked way, way up. He saw a big plane. Here I am, mother, he called out. But the plane did not stop. The plane went on. Just then, the baby bird saw a big thing. This must be his mother. There she is. There is my mother. What do you guys think? Is that his mother? He ran right up to it. Mother, mother, here I am, mother, he said to the thing. But the thing just said, snort. Oh, you are not my mother, said the baby bird. You are a snort. I have to get out of here. But the baby bird could not get away. The snort went up, and it went way, way up. And up and up went the baby bird. Just then, the snort stopped. Where am I, said the baby bird. I want to go home. I want my mother. Then something happened. The snort put that baby bird right back in the tree. The baby bird was home. Just then, the mother bird came back to the tree. Do you know who I am? She said to her baby bird. Yes, I know who you are, said the baby bird. You are not a kitten. You are not a hen. You are not a dog. You are not a cow. You are not a boat or a plane or a snort. You are a bird and you are my mother. Now look at that, you guys. That baby bird found his mom. Now, if you look at them, what do you notice? They look the same. They have the same beak, the same color feathers. If you look at the other animals, does this bird look anything close like the other animals? He does not. But when you look at him and his mom, they have the same characteristics. I want you to think about other animals you know. Do puppies look like cows? Do puppies look like chickens? No, puppies look like baby dogs. Hey everyone, I almost forgot to talk about something very important. You can tell most animals apart because each animal has its own special set of characteristics. For example, you can tell a fish is a fish by the way they look because they probably have scales or fins or tails to help them live underwater. You can tell giraffes by their long neck so that they can reach the top of the trees to eat their food. You can tell dogs by their fur, by their paws, by their four legs that they walk on. Every animal is special and has their own special characteristics so that they can survive. Think about you. Do you look like your mom or your dad? What about your brothers or your sisters? 
I bet you do. We are all special and we all have our own special characteristics, just like animals do, and that is how you can tell them apart. And they all have different kinds of fur, different kinds of legs and arms or wings, and that is to help them survive. We will talk more about that later. I hope you guys enjoyed this book, Are You My Mother? Please be sure to check out any new videos that I post so we can keep learning together. I love you guys, I miss you guys, and I'll see you soon. Bye.